Good morning from the garden and welcome to today's video about planting winter squashes. Winter squash is a very important crop for anybody who strives for any measure of self-sufficiency and it's also a very important crop for us because of its nutritional value and uh, most importantly because it keeps so long. But winter squash grow on very large plants and in today's video therefore I want to show you three ways we fit them into our garden so that they do not, not take up precious space in our raised beds. I sow our winter squash about five to six weeks before our last frost date. Uh, that means for us, in the, I sow them in the second half of April on the windowsill in a mixture of potting mix based on coconut choir and our homemade compost. And then I plant them out in the, new, this year it's in the last week of May because I like to wait for not only there not being any more chance of frost, but also for not only the days, but also the nights to be reasonably warm before I plant my winter squash out. So in this bed, we have planted uh, three varieties of summer squash, different uh, varieties of courgette, but we're also growing two plants of winter squash here. And like I said, winter squash would take up a lot of space if grown on the ground, but you can grow it vertically and that way it takes a very little uh, space. Um, we use this, trellis which we're really happy about. It's a design of uh, Patrick uh, Dolan from One Year Revolution and we have found out last year that it can hold even uh, very large fruited varieties of squash. However the two plants that I have here are butternut type and the variety is called honey nut which does not have very large fruits. The second place we planted winter squash is on our compost heap. We have three compartments of the compost heap and two of those were filled in the spring, after which we cover them with cardboard and plant a squash through the cardboard. The winter squash planted this way really benefit from the extra nutrients in the compost and also from the heat that is generated by the decomposition process. And typically they give us a much better harvest than the plants uh, that we put in the ground. I have tested it in previous years by planting the same variety both on the compost heap and in the ground and really like this gave us much better yield. We have only planted this one five days ago and it has already visibly grown but I have one more spot so that's uh, where I will plant now. The two varieties that I'm growing on the compost heap this year are both Hubbards. Um, they are baby green and baby blue and the reason that they give get this prime spot is that I love Hubbards but I don't have much luck growing them and typically when they planted them in the ground they did not do so well so I'm hoping that here on the compost heap they will give us a better harvest. It is better if the top layer into which you're planting is already partially decomposed if it's not just fresh plant debris so you could uh, you could add a little more um, or semi-mature compost to the planting hole uh, but usually the plants seem to find their way uh, the roots seem to find their way quite quickly and of course you have to water well um, the function of the cardboard on top of the compost heap is both that it prevents any weeds that are in the compost heap from growing, but also it keeps the compost heap moist. The third final way in which we grow winter squash this year is in this area, which has been covered with cardboard. The reason we do this is to eradicate perennial weeds in the forest garden before we start planting up the herb layer. And we have a video which is all about how and why we do this but um, in the meantime while the garden uh, while we're getting rid of weeds we're also growing winter squash here winter squash is the most suitable plant for this growing because you need to um, of course make a hole in the cardboard in, a, in order to plant it and winter squash are spreading plants which will cover this whole area beautifully I'm continuing my butternut squash trial this year with six different varieties. Apart from the honey nut that I showed you previously, I have uh, Barbara, Hunter, Harrier, 
Anna and Sonka here and I will compare how uh, they do in our garden and in our climate. We will film a video at the end of the growing season and show you how the different varieties we grew performed, so stay tuned for that. But for now, this is all about how we planted them. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you found something useful in it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Happy gardening!